it's my one year anniversary, I guess you'd call it, since leaving the monastery. Uh, that was what the little um, photo montage was all about. I don't have too many photos of a lot of guys in the monastery that are easily available, so I just used those that I had. And um, as you saw, even monks can drink sometimes, Brother Macario. Uh, yeah, that was me playing the flute. Um, it wasn't that great. I haven't really practiced much in the last year since I left. But I thought I'd just do a little uh, nostalgic playing or something for the guys at the monastery, if any of them watch. It's interesting. I don't know if it's an anniversary to really be celebrating so much as remembering, I guess. Um, the past year's been really interesting, and it seems like it's been longer than a year. And it's fun being in Tokyo, but I still do really miss the place. And a lot of you guys that are there, as you guys know. I have a new Japanese food for today. This is odango. A Japanese sweet okashi. It could be a dessert, I guess. Um, I like them a lot, and a lot of people in my class don't really prefer them. Um, one reason they say is that they just don't really taste too much. Uh, they don't have much taste. So when you get them, you pull them out, and you can't see it too well, but they're really the there's a syrup on them. It's like a rice, like mochi, um, a rice-based dessert with this. This one's not as sticky. There we go. Mm, sorry. Uh, with this syrup on it. And I don't really know how to describe the taste at all. Um, it reminds me of almost kind of a burntish taste but it's rather subtle. Um, like I said, a lot of people don't like them because they don't think they really taste like anything. But they're pretty good, and I think they're not too unhealthy. It's a Japanese dessert, and it's rice-based, so it's not really that fattening. So it's pretty good, and they're really cheap. Uh, I, you can get these three sticks, so 12 balls for 105 yen, which is probably about 90 cents. This is one of those uh, sweets that I usually can't pass up when I see them in the convenience stores or in the supermarket. Um, I'll usually buy them because they're cheap and they taste really good to me. But they are also generally fresh. Um, I think they have to throw them out at the end of the day if they haven't been sold. The supermarket puts out a limited number of them every day at, in the morning, I think. I'm not really sure because I'm not usually up when they open. But uh, by about 6 o'clock sometimes, sometimes 8 o'clock-ish in the evening, they're all sold out. Uh, they have this Japanese sweet counter, I guess. And all of them are made daily, and they have to be sold by the end of the day or else they get thrown out. So that's pretty nice. But these are popular in anime for people that watch that. If they see the people eating something on a stick or... Um, sometimes they're colored, sometimes there's a different, like a bean paste on them. I don't really like those. I haven't had the colored type. But they come in all different, I've been eating it. They come in all different types. And they're pretty fun. I find the last one always hard to eat because it's like, you gag yourself. And on shows you usually see people like eating them like, mm -hmm. and I just can't do that because then it gets me all messy and I'm not going to do that right now. I think you can hear me chewing on the camera, which is kind of embarrassing. But they're so good. I hope everything is going well at the monastery still. I'm thinking of you guys today, as I do often. Um, just thought I'd do a little memorial tribute, I guess, to it. And also talk about the Odongo for people that um, watch and have no clue what I'm talking about. So... I will talk to you guys later. I finished my odongo, so now I'm just kind of using the sticks to eat the sauce. Pretty good. Talk to you guys later.